What's up guys? So I'm here in a, another video again. Um, this one's gonna be a pretty quick one, but today we're in the truck and I have a wheel bearing out. Uh, so we're about to take it to the house and uh, guess I'm gonna document that. shift shop and today we're going to be swapping out a wheel bearing on the truck uh, the driver's side um, if a lot of you who are watching don't know uh, when a wheel bearing usually goes out usually you can hear it um, with mine I could just feel it in the steering on um, the truck was pulling and the wheel had shake to it um, so those are like a lot of signs you know that uh, wheel bearing is going out um, All right, so we're gonna start by jacking the truck up um, and getting this 42 inch Fury off. Um, so I'll let y'all watch me try and manhandle this tire. Um, and then we'll start with disassembling the hub. All right, so we got the tire off. Um, now we're gonna begin by taking the wheel spacer off, uh, the brake caliper and the rotor. Um, and then from there, we'll go into the hub itself. All right, so we got the spacer off right there and the wheel off. And now I'm gonna go over the steps when getting this caliper off. So obviously the rotor is self-explanatory. It just slides off the studs. Um, but back here, you got these bolts. There's one up top right here and there's one on the bottom. And you're gonna loosen those and this whole caliper will pop off. And you just wanna kind of hang it to the side so that your brake line's right here so they don't get you know too tight. Mine, these are extended um, from PMF. I uh, highly recommend these if you have a lifted truck, but um, we'll go ahead and start by doing that. All right, so to take off those bolts for the calipers, we're gonna be using a 21 size socket for a half inch ratchet. And then I have a little extension um, on the so behind that bolt, there's a brake line where it goes into the caliper. Um, you don't want to bend that or move it or any sort of way, but you kind of just have to finesse the socket onto the bolt and then carefully loosen it. So I know I'm doing a lot of switching around here, but as you can see, we got the caliper up, uh, or I mean the caliper off and the rotor off, um, but I ran into a little issue. It turns out it is not the bearing that is out. It is this lower ball joint. I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but kind of shaky, but it's got some play in it. So it looks like we're gonna have to take apart the whole knuckle, go get a new ball joint and have that pushed in there. So um, see y'all in a bit. So while you're taking apart this knuckle, um, first you wanna start with the wheel bearing. And behind here, uh, I believe most people's see if y'all can see that most people's are you have a regular nut right here um on mine when we bought this lift it had lug nuts on it so i'm back here with the ball joint issue um as you can see i got the knuckle and everything put back on um so i'll go ahead and talk to y'all a little bit about that just real quick so um, after you loosen both top and bottom bolts um, and you pull this axle shaft out and 
beat the ever living mess out of your knuckle, it eventually will come off. Um, from there, you just uh, use any press and kind of, again, have to finagle them, but you'll press these joints out um, and then put the new ones in. And I believe it goes, uh, the bottom one in first and then the top. Um, you slide the knuckle back in um, and this bottom one you tighten to 44 foot pounds and then go ahead and give the knuckle you know a good shake back and forth and then fill it with grease uh, top and bottom and then tighten the top one to 69 foot pounds and then the bottom one to 100 foot pounds um, and that's pretty much it as far as getting this knuckle tightened um, and then from there we got our hub right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and ready to go and once we get it on I'll show you all whatever I did with this so as you can see on the back side of this hub I got the studs put on um, and then blue lock tighted them um, you don't want to put too too much I mean if you got a little bit pulling around you know um, just make sure like it's evenly put in there and everything's snugged and locked on and you want to let it sit for a little while too um, so it can dry um, and from there we just put the hub onto the knuckle and then put the lovely snap ring and I'll show you guys how I do that.